Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, if you haven't watched the, the last part, check it out. It was pretty epic. Lots of crazy fights. So there's um, the Imperial Royal Highness King Man. The King Boy. So it seems everyone's meeting in, in uh, Endel. What's the deal with this ceasefire? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor on Malthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. <laughs> CEO says jump, we jump. You kind of are. Because they probably never bothered to, to make your face. I know, you, you don't jump. You say how high. Morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? Not a wink. Figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over to the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear our heads a little. Someone's got to escort Morag over there, right? I think I would be perfectly capable of finding my own way. And Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently. See, we might as well head all head over. I guess you're right. Let's go then. Gonna hear my report. Nicely done. Oh, our blades came back. So that was the first time it called for me to play as Morag. That was a little bit jaunting, but we 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 succeeded somehow. <laughs> Scared the heck out of me though. Oh, we can go back to Temperantia. Interesting. Is she a mermaid? I didn't even notice. Oh no. Wait, that's not her. Oh, that's her tail. What is she? She her tail is a mermaid tail. That's weird. Oh, so I don't even get to go in. Dang. My deepest thanks to you for agreeing to this ceasefire, Queen Rakura, Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Furthermore, representing the Tantalides, His Highness the Crown Prince Ozyclirus Brunev Tantal will also be attending. The crown prince, the prodigal prince of Tantal. <laughs> <laughs> mm, 
I want to go to this tent all place. Seems interesting. Especially if it birthed Zeke. Oh no. What a spectacle. Seems the Praetor has as much cloud around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nation's heads gathered here. It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be open. <sighs> Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so... That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. Plotting. Bastards. He will annihilate mankind, and then... He will kill the architect. Wow. Well, that's his goal. To kill their master, their father, basically. Now, it seems... More Ardain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offense. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offenses does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? Our crown prince right there. And Morak, for that matter. What a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozzyclyrus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Ozzyclyrus? Oh. Can confirm, ex chairman Banner, give these people some kind of supplies. Military supplies, methinks, and in great number, yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malus, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Ridiculous. Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame. He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis, has confronted us in person. <laughs> and if my word is not enough for you... There's about six other people that can come in for this. Which he's probably about to let us in. Oh, who's that? Oh! Okay, why did her hair look brown from the back? The Aegis. A blade? But, but that poor crystal... This is another Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there for a long time now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of whole nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help.
<sighs> I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself... The horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. All of this is this my is responsibility. This is an eerie moment. Traitor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. The time may have come to lift that restriction. You gotta let us get up toward Elysium. Help us take down that snake serpent thing. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. It's for both our sakes. But you, Amalthus, who is it that you're living for? <laughs> Deep questions. <sighs> Morning, folks. You're looking a bit better, Slap. Pretty much. Fan's state funeral is to be held today, is it not? Yeah, I think it was meant to be happening in Sior's Plaza, right outside the Sanctum. You'll be going, right, chum? Yes, it would be wrong for me not to. Sierra's Plaza, very not far away. Time to go quick, quick. Mr. Pond, so bossy sometimes. So Fan is gone. I guess we'll do that for now. Poor Fan. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from him. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Pirates? <laughs> Get out. So wait. You're saying you want to go be clingy, or what? I'll burn you. <laughs> I get, 
my kids. Sheesh. It's weird, though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minna? I mean Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. She did say something was wrong with her core. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans isn't like that. Exactly. So what happened to the other part of your core? It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Him? Why would he steal her core, though? That was quite the grand funeral ceremony. It spoke volumes as to just how much Fan was loved by her people. The goddess of Indol won't be an easy position to replace. Hey Rex, what are you going to do from here on out? If we're going to reach the World Tree, we'll need the Praetor's help, but... Master Rex, there you are. Praetor Amalthus wishes to speak with you. He's waiting in the audience chamber. That's perfect timing. Maybe he wants to talk about the World Tree? I'm afraid I cannot say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get ourselves on over to that audience chamber, then. Look at that. Core crystals galore. You wouldn't happen to have any rare ones in there, would you? <laughs> Was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with the crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, 
This power was awakened in me. So, I might be able to do it too? Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. Now then. My work is done for the day. Come with me. A special envoy? Yes! We get to go to Tantor. Me? Correct. Behold. As a salvager, I imagine you are already aware. But this is Allrest, the world we currently inhabit. We make our home on Titans, moving in circles around the world tree. And here lies the Great Void. This void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior to that. So I've heard. It's in our way anyway. It stopped us reaching the World Tree. The Great Void is carved from the Cloud Sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, you mean that thing? To be precise, it is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Of Mithra? So that thing is Mithras, then what did it attack us for? Doesn't make sense. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. Ah, oh, so he was killed. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the World Tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. I'll take you to it. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man, and so that people may have a future in this dying world. Dang. We got you, old dude. So Zeke, you're going to be guiding us to Tento, right? Sure I'm. Let's head back to our chambers before we talk about it. This isn't exactly the place for discussing stuff. Back to our room? Got it.
We can reach Tantal by ship, but once we're there, we'll need to do a spot of walking. So we're traveling with Shell, lad, yeah? Never thought I'd see the day. I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Mm, luck of Zeke, not so great. Bet we shipwrecked <laughs> by tomorrow. <laughs> Cheeky furball. We're all gonna die. Hey, Zeke. You said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? What? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know about those clowns, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago, they were the ancestors of us Tantalese. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam, the hero of Torna, who escaped its destruction. So, after Pyra fell asleep, Adam escaped to Tantal. That's right. That is the well, first I've so. heard of it. I have studied much history, but this story So he skipped to Tantal and then just kind of, peculiar. I guess, let rest there till he died? We're humble. Don't really like to brag about it. The only real trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Indol has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. <laughs> Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Besides, I find the warrior monks here so reliable. They get the job done. <laughs> if you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? Jin was a blade of Torna once. Loyalty or nostalgia? Who can say? Perhaps both. Is that really all there is to it? You don't and Zeke so. comes from such an epic place. But I don't know kind of much about what happened <laughs> while I slept. <laughs> Makes me kind of sad. There are no written records, either. All we have is stories passed down. And you think that is insufficient? History is a murky thing. Only those present Very true. truly know what took place. But weren't you one of those present? And that is why... I offer you my cooperation. I guess we'll find out if we go to Tantal. Right, let's head for Gotia's port. Can we make it a leisurely walk? I guess, why? It's been Yang since I last went home to Tantal. I've been thinking of Indo as my home so long now. It feels weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last moments here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know, shocking, isn't it? Shut up, you two. Can I take some Endolin presents for the folks you haven't seen in a while? Huh, as if my old man would want any of that. Come on, let's start walking to Gotia's port. You could grab a swig of Odifa along the way. They don't have that stuff in Tantal, so this could be your last chance. I said shut up already. Hmm. Malika. Malika the chorister. So this is a choir. Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna teleport down there because I don't really want to run. Uh, go to his port. We're here. So, shall we?
We got Orions, uh, Imperials. Uh, everybody's mm. walking Attention around ready to kill each other. From what I gather, it seems an official summit is to be held between Morardane and Uriah. A summit? You mean about the recent punch up? But I thought. Didn't Praetor Amalthus get them to stop and sort it all out? Perhaps there are some discussions they would prefer Indol not to be privy to. Besides, Uriah doesn't like to associate too closely with Indol. They'd hate to be seen as acquiescing to the Praetor's will. Got to keep up appearances, you know. Acquiescing? You what? Like letting him tell them what's what. <laughs> For such a span, are you sure you some big words? How can? <laughs> Stop calling me that! Buzz off, kitty no mates! Anyway, this summit would explain why Morag isn't around. Indeed. She has much to attend. Which sucks. We lost a we lost our good tank. But whatever. Shared sovereignty over Gormut. Yes. I don't think anything less would be sufficient to placate them. The Senate would never approve it. I can overrule them by decree. Of course, I would need to secure Senator Roderick's cooperation. Dang, Imperial he wants to decree? give Orion. A... If it's come to that, basically well, some power over Gormat. I cannot help but admire your courage, Your Majesty. That means a lot coming from you. Acting Chairman Nira Nira. Sorry for intrude. It is emergency, so Nira Nira take liberty of drop by unannounced. Oh, what now? You certainly look troubled, Chairman. So, what is this emergency you speak of? Well... I don't like this. So... We can make our way to Tantal from here. I assume the Praetor has a ship waiting for us. Hey, Shalad. What? Are we really gonna just leave Morag behind? Who's leaving anyone? She's got her own priorities, you know? I don't want to leave Morag, though. Yeah, but still. Anyway, her schedule is filled with official duties right now. For sure. It's just a bit of a shame, is all. You know, since we came all this way together. I guess I know how you feel, chum. Huh? Speak of the devil. Morag. Oh. Did something happen? What happened? I'm scared. The music is sinister. Banners going for the site. On top of everything, an assassination attempt. If blood gets really the summit, it Banner's gonna there. try and assassinate at the summit? War's good for business, after all. I guess he wants to use that to get himself back in with the guild. Why that little I was wondering where he'd slunk off to. Sneaky what a little... sneaky git. Yeah. It seems acting chairman Nira Nira wishes to take care of this incident covertly, to avoid it reflecting badly upon the guild. So they you want us to do it. If we mobilize the army, the whole thing will become public. Oh, I get it. So we're a more convenient solution. I'm not forcing you. If you refuse... Bridget and I will do what we can alone. Ah, oh, come off it, lady. You wouldn't even think of dragging us into this if you thought you could handle it on your own. I suppose <laughs> not. <sighs> you know Banner as well as I. I hate Banner. There's no I really hope we can take him out this time. According to acting chairman Nira Nira, 
Several giant weapons were being built at the factory where we last saw him. And one of them is currently unaccounted for. Oh my... Giant Lord. weapons. Got it. Besides, you know, we've got our own score to settle with him. Thank you. It will be easier to focus on my duties knowing you are on the case. Good luck. Leave it Can to we us. go to Tenta though first? Because <laughs> I kind of want to go to Tenta. Bana the Schemer. I can think of many other names to call him as well. But Schemer, I guess, works. Turk and those are the birds, right? Those weird freaking bird things. Actually, it looks like there's one, like, right down here. So let's go and get the far th farthest one. Oh, Linder. Fade Lico? Let me grab this guy's quest just to have it. Ripe new frontier. Patisk. Poisonous substances? Oh, Lord. Banna is, is really playing on thin ice here. Oh, you know what? I wanted to rest. Just to see if we have any uh, rest experience that I can throw on the team. Oh, he didn't get any? What? That's annoying. I want to keep them all, like, kind of on the same level. I don't want to... Overpower. Did you have a restful huh. sleep? Too much. Mm, nice cat nap.
Then I want to know is where this could be at. Is it on their ships? Maybe. That's what it's looking like. We've gathered quite a bit of information now. Yeah, and plenty of it blatantly bogus, but there were some rumors in there that did bug me a bit. Time to sweat out the real dirt from the basis. Oh, detection time. First we'll clear up basic premises. Who's targeted Summit of Nation? Is former Chairman Bond a master pun? Forget already? N no, Torad, not that stupid. It's traditional for deducing to start by listing information everybody knows. Proper flow is for Rexwax to think carefully and provide answer. Okay. On to next base. Basic premise, then. Where's the summit being held? Hmm. The Ardanian Titan Battleship. It's inside the Titan Battleship from Moradane. It seems like Banai is planning an assassination, but what method do you think he might be using? Poison? I think the method might be poison. Yeah, the ship's totally secure from the outside, and only trustworthy people will be attending after all. I guess the only method that really leaves is tampering with the food. But when would the poison be added, and to what exactly? The drinking water, maybe? Maybe they'll contaminate the drinking water. But did we not hear that the main conference would only be attended by select trustworthy individuals? It might be possible to contaminate the water supply before the conference begins, might it not? If it were me, I wouldn't even drink any water at a conference like that. Can't be too careful around people you don't know very well. Is that how it works? Maybe there's a more effective method. Okay, then the meal. It's got to be the meal at the banquet, right? Yes, I can hardly imagine the VIPs will be preparing their own food. I'd quite like to see Morag and Bridget try cooking for a banquet. And someone was saying they'd seen a lot of weird ingredients being carried inside. Indeed, they were. Suspicious big box carried inside, too. Could the strong flavored ingredients be to hide the taste of the poison? You're sharp, Rex. I bet that's exactly what they're for. The only question left is who will be carrying out the poisoning itself? Let's see now. The Turkin. Could it be those Turkin? The ones that Carl was talking about. Bano used Turkin as minions before, to I remember from Artificial Blade Factory in Moradane. I can see how they might be more convenient for him than hiring professional assassins. Yeah, but you think Turkin know the first thing about cooking? I don't know about that. Listen, I think we're just going around in circles here. If we know somebody's probably going to poison the food, why don't we go check out the battleship itself? Good point. Regardless of who's carrying it out, we should act fast if we're going to stop this plot. That's out of then. Everybody go to Dining Hall of Ardanian Battleship.
All right, guys. Um, we attempt to stop Bana's uh, assassination attempt on the next part. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I will see you guys on the Titan battleship. Bye-bye.